Hey guys, so today is my project pan update. Yay! Um, again, really good progress. Today we're gonna have two products leave because I finished them up and two products come in because I'm including a new two. Um, let's start with the Mineral Illuminating Powder by Chorus. This one is a never-ending, never-ending product. This is how much I have of it. It looks to me about the same as last time. I've been using it, I swear. But you need so very little and this lasts forever. So if you're interested in buying product that lasts forever and that is actually really nice quality and has a very natural effect on the skin, Chorus Wild Rose Powder Mineral Illuminating Powder is your jam. I really like it. I think it's wonderful. I wish I was using more than one illuminator, but it's okay, it's okay. It's gonna last me forever and I'm gonna use it until it's gone or until the year is over and I start a new project pan. And then I'll think about whether to include it or not. Next, two cream shadows. The first one is from Chanel. This is uh, in the color 84 Epatonte. Nice patina, green, not quite, I'm, I'm almost at the bottom here. It's just a little bit more and I'll hit, I think I'll hit the bottom. Uh, but it's going slowly but surely and I'm not using it every day. Um, it's just not a color I'm, I've been reaching for recently. I like it a lot but I'm only using it maybe once a week or so. But I like it, I'll continue using it. Press on. <laughs> Next uh, product I'm using a little bit more than the pre previous cream shadow and this is Elise Wattier uh, Enf Velour Supreme uh, in the color Top Velour. And this is... <sighs> This is a really nice uh, cream shadow. Uh, this is completely matte from Lee Swatier. I do encourage you to check out Lee Swatier. I think they make really nice products. Um, and the crater is expanding a little bit. This is what I have on my lid right now. And it's the only thing I have on my lid except, well, I have the lashes um, with mascara, but nothing else. Lovely, very nice basic. I'm really enjoying this. I think this is great. Next, uh, my Guerin Le Violette Powder. No idea how much I've used of this. I haven't been using it a ton, but I've been using it. It's in the color, Le, it's a Le Violette Mineral Poudre uh, in the color Rose Naturelle 13, so color 13. It's a nice little puff. It's a beautiful powder, gorgeous, just like my favorite, you know, in the best traditions of Guerlain powders. Guerlain powders are really good. They have been cheaping out on packaging lately, but I'm watching them. I'm watching them. Their powders are really good, <laughs> but you know, if they continue crapping out on the package, I'll reconsider purchasing them. My favorites are the Parure line and especially the Lingerie Big Pool line. I need to do some repurchasing at some point soon. Uh, this is great. This is really lovely. Much more sheer loose powder. The previous two I mentioned were setting powders. And then the other powder that is in my project is this Hourglass uh, Ambient Lighting Powder in Diffused Light. This, this is well loved. Check out the Hourglass uh, has uh, rubbed off, the, like the logo that was here has rubbed off and, and see how it's starting to diminish the actual coating. So I'm, I'm using it, I really am. Um, but the only thing I do is set my under eye and my lid with that color. So it's lasting me, but there's definitely progress. I've been focusing on this corner, as you can tell, sort of just that's where I've been dipping my brush. And you see quite a decent amount of progress since last time I'm picking away at it and I'll continue to do so. Next, we have Meteorite's Baby Glow, Light Revealing Sheer Makeup by Gellman. Again, this has a uh, SPF 25 and PA++, so decent amount of uh, some, some protection. I like this a lot, it sits beautifully on skin. Uh, it's really a fast application, it's quite sheer. It says, Light Revealing Sheer Makeup, don't expect coverage it's not going to have much it's a perfect packaging for me as you can see it's a squeezy tube with a gorgeous little pump that actually distributes the product very well um i love this thing it's 30 mils standard amount i think it's a really nice product if you enjoy sheer coverage this i'm using basically for texture not really for coverage go in with your concealer and fix what you need to this is lovely and it has slightly pinky tint no color in this line is gonna fit anybody beyond medium, unfortunately, so beware. Um, my color is too light, clear. Um, love the product, don't have a ton left. We'll continue using it probably have about a month, a month and a half left in here, maybe more, maybe less, I'm not sure, we'll see. 
Uh, then another base product, and this is the product that I've included last time. It's uh, Benefit Boing Concealer in 01 and Benefit Lemonade Concealer Corrector. Um, this has, has, been, has been giving me, given to me by a friend of mine, uh, and the colors didn't suit her. She's more towards medium. Uh, but for me, these are really, this is a, the 01 Boing Concealer. Is that? perfect match for my skin tone. So that's a reason to purchase basically. And Lemonade is a nice highlighting or correcting color for me. I really like this, this is really great. This is really tempting me to buy these in full sizes, especially the Boing, just because it's such a creamy, beautiful, spreadable texture with buildable, pretty good coverage actually. Really wonderful for dry skin. Not sure if it's gonna hold on to the oily skin types so, so well, but for me with my dry skin is great and I've already hit pan on it. I've been using it a ton. There's a, a small crater going on in the lemonade as well. Fantastic product. I'll consider actually purchasing it in full size once I run out of this sample size sort of little duo. It's really, really nice. Um, next, we have two lip products. First one you've heard me speak about ad nauseum because I love it. And this is Lip Glow, Color Reviver Balm, uh, the Dior Addict Lip Glow by Dior. It's again, a perfect packaging for lip product. I think it's so cute. And the texture is great. It's really moisturizing. It has the slightest bit of pink tint, the slightest, slightest amount. Beautiful product. I love this. I think this is the best stick balm that I have tried thus far and I recommend it, of course, I'll repurchase it for sure. Um, next is the Clarence, or Clarence, Eclaminu, uh, instant, I'm just reading both sides, instant light natural lip perfecter in the color 01. It's a pinky lip gloss, really nourishing, really moisturizing. I just haven't been into lip glosses, so I'm barely reaching for that one. Then the next two are actually uh, finished products. So this is the most exciting part of the video where I get to tell you which ones I'm done with. Um, not surprisingly, this YSL Top Secrets Flash Radiant Skincare Brush, this is a primer, is done. It's been hanging on by a thread before, so it's not a surprise at all. And this is a really, really nice primer. Very smoothing, has moisturizing and skincare ingredients, works very well. Makeup glides on top of it very nicely. Um, I liked the formula a lot. There are two caveats to this product. First is a scent. It's it's heavily perfumed. So if you don't like that, beware. I don't really love very perfumed products most of the time. And it has this crappy packaging. I've been talking about this. This ad nauseum as well. It's just, I don't like it. Why don't you just give me a squeezy tube or a pump or something sanitary instead of a freaking brush? No, no, no hated the way that I had to use this. I had to squeeze it out of the brush onto a finger and then distribute it over the face. Stupid idea to include brushes on top of products that you're not using once and you can't wash. Don't do it, makeup brands. Uh, and then oh, this product I'm just so happy to be done with. This is the Soleil de Chanel by Chanel. A bronze universal. This is their bronzing base slash cream bronzer, whatever, in one color. Um, I love the texture of this and I think it's a great value for money because this lasted me forever and it's a 30 gram product and it blends out well, it holds onto the skin well, it looks pretty natural. The problem I had with that is the color. This was not the color that I really wanted. It's too orange. I think for pale girls, not a great idea. I think maybe medium skin tones are gonna find this to be a quite a natural bronzer, but fair, no. I just don't think that this orange color is is a good enough sort of match for a bronzer for my skin tone. And this was the second tub, so it took me a while to realize that I can do better than this in terms of color. The texture, however, is fabulous. So this, if this is your color, go get it. Uh, darker skin tones, forget about it because this is not going to show up on you at all. Uh, one color, come on Chanel, you need more than one color. Just, you know, just do it. Just produce more than one color of this. Um, so I really enjoyed the texture of the product. The quality was great. The price for money or price for quality was really good. Um, I will be buying next uh, an RMS bronzer. I think Baturi, Batuti, something Bariti maybe. Um, it's a beautiful texture, it lays on the skin so, so naturally, and it's a wonderful bronzing product for my skin tone. I've gotten it in a palette, and I've enjoyed it enough that I'm going to order it uh, during the Sephora VIB sale, I think. Um, loved it, and do recommend you check out that one if you have similar to my skin tone. 
Um, the two products that I'm including are this one, and this one I won't recommend to you because I feel weird about using it and I don't know whether anybody else would like it. I don't think so. This is a Lancome La Crayon Col in black coffee. <laughs> this is an eyeliner that I didn't like for my eyelids because it was a bit dry and I'm using it in my eyebrows right now and it's creamy but somehow it works. I'm not really sure why um, it does but it does. So I want to get it out of my collection because I want to use it in my brows um, and I have I have a, a pen, brow pencil that I love like so ever much more which is the Dior uh, brow styler I think. Um, I just want to get rid of this one and move on to my favorite brow pencil, but this is not bad, so I still will use it up uh, and that will save me from buying maybe an extra Dior show before, you know, I use up this one. So I'm going to go ahead and use up this one in my brows and then move on to my back, back on to my favorite. And the second thing that I'm adding is a, a bronzer and it's a mini. This is Milk Chocolate Soleil Little mini came in some kind of a kit at some point and this is again milk chocolate soleil so this is a lighter one from Too Faced. This is not a perfect color for me either it's a bit orange as well I'm wearing it today I don't think it looks bad on my skin I think it looks okay um, I wouldn't have kept it if it didn't smell like freaking chocolate I swear to you this is the only reason that I'm keeping this and I'm gonna use it up because it smells amazing it does smell very much like cocoa powder maybe they have cocoa powder in there I don't know but it just smells so nice. I don't want to get rid of it just because of that. Um, I don't think the color is perfect for me. It's fine and I'll just deal with it. It's two and a half grams of product, so probably not going to last forever. Um, I have a very, very slightest little dimple going into it. Not much used up so far. It's pretty new. But it's just like, come on guys, do a better job for fair skin tones with bronzers. This is a little orange as well, a little yellow toned. Um, just a little bit cooler maybe or something more neutral less warm would be great uh, this is my project pan right now I feel like I have a good selection of stuff uh, different levels of being finished so uh, what kind are you doing a project pan and how is it going for you I tend to be finishing one to two products a month oh yeah about that um, and just hanging in there and uh, plowing through the uh, project pan. I think I might do it next year too actually. I've been having a really good time with it so I don't see a point in not doing it and uh, I've been shopping less so it's been working out great. That's it for today. See you guys later. Bye bye.